Hello and welcome to Red Live and I hope everybody who is watching this is having an awesome day. Me, I'm doing good man, no complaints whatsoever. Now I do have some red hot news for you today. And our first topic of the video, Buster929 allegedly dating a 17 year old. So in the wake of the surviving R. Kelly documentary, everyone seems to be on high alert over people with high influence who may be trying to take advantage of younger people. Well right now it seems like Buster 929 has found himself in the middle of a similar controversy as he has been labeled a pedophile. Now the rapper, DJ and producer has found himself under fire on social media. Pictures recently emerged online of himself and a girl he is rumored to be dating. Now from the pictures, she does seem to be rather young as you can see over here on the screen. Now the Twitter detectives, the FBI Twitter agents uh, say that she was born in 2015, which would mean that she turned 17 in 2022 this year. Now whenever we are talking about sensitive topics such as this, yeah, you kind of have to go to legal documentation, right? So according to like the legal consenting age in South Africa, as you can see there, what is the age of consent in SA? The age of consent in SA is 17. This means that it is against the law for anyone to have sex with someone who is under 17. So if you are 17 and above, anything goes basically. Now when it comes to Buster's age, because I was curious about that, I did do a Google search, couldn't really find when he was born. According to what I could find is uh, an estimated age, he's between 31 and 34 years old. So according to what I personally could find on Google, Buster is in his 30s, basically early 30s. So going off the law, it does seem that both of them are above that legal consenting age, as it's allegedly anyways. But moving right along and getting back to the picture, the two of them seem to be in a hotel room in the middle of what looks like a party. And his other hand is rather affectionately around the 17 year old as they take a mirror selfie. So yeah, basically those are the pictures in question. So taking a look at social media, one user wrote allegedly Buster929 is dating a 2005 girl. But fair to this is sickening. Now it does seem that the view of this particular user is shared by a lot of people judging by the interaction and the likes that this particular tweet has got. There's even a couple of replies. One user wrote there is nothing wrong with dating a girl who is over 16. Another user wrote true legal age is 16 years. Most people like making noise well according to you know what i read earlier the legal age is 17 but according to the allegations anyway she is about 17 years old so i suppose what they are trying to say kind of still stands in a way Another user wrote what Buster929 is doing with young girls is concerning. He is another R. Kelly that is using young girls and promising them record deals. This will be his downfall. Well, interesting that you are talking about him promising them uh, record deals. I mean, I don't know if the ladies have come out and said that, you know, we are with Buster because he's promised us record deals or anything of that nature. But moving right along, another user wrote, Abo Buster 929 Bazobo Roughly translated is that Buster 929 will be arrested. Another user wrote Buster929 when he's not in the studio. As you can see there, it's a lion chasing a very young, I don't know, is that a gazelle, springbok, whatever that animal may be, but it's definitely, you know, small compared to the lion anyways. Another user wrote when schools knock off Buster929 and uh, the picture free candy <laughs> and it's got to, it's a it's those dodgy vans you know those dodgy looking vans like when you come close they they're gonna grab you put a bag over your head and just drive off with you. Another user wrote, but is not first time Buster929 caught with these children. Remember last year, he went far as releasing statements about it. Unfortunately, he didn't get the punishment he deserves. Introducing young children, it's a serious offense. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, I mean, do get in the comment section down below and let me know what did you guys think about those pictures of Buster929 with a 17 year old allegedly. Now before we move on to the next topic, please do me a huge favor. If you do enjoy the content here on Red Live and you are of legal consenting age, do give this video a huge thumbs up. It does help out a lot. And also if you are new to the channel and haven't subscribed, do hit that red subscribe button and hit the bell notification to be notified of future uploads. Our next topic, fans drag Jazzy Q for being smug and arrogant. 
Look, it does seem that it's not a good start for Ama Piano DJs. The one we spoke about earlier is being accused of being a pedophile and one is now being dragged for him being smug and arrogant, according to, you know, social media users. Now, this is not the first time that Mr. Jazzy Q has been accused of being arrogant to a point where he thinks that he is better than other people. Now, what we are talking about now is that he was actually a guest DJ at Big Brother's house. Now, if you didn't watch the party, you definitely did miss out. But uh, Terry, as usual, definitely did go close to the booth and hype him up to a point where she actually kind of got a little bit emotional. Now, Jazzy Q, during the entire session, Set did not even pay her any attention and he continued on with his set like she didn't even exist now to be fair apparently one of the rules at big brother is that the djs are not to interact with the housemates but it seems like some viewers feel that mr jazzy q did what he did on purpose now this is especially after he posted the following. So this is a screenshot I'm assuming of an old tweet by Mr. Jazzy Q. As you can see there, Mu ignore anye. Roughly translated is ignore them until they shit. Now Jazzy Q captioned this, I said it before, I'm saying it again. Danko. So after this very cryptic tweet, might I add, many Twitter users kind of felt that it was directed to Terry. But like I said, he did not mention anyone in that particular tweet that he posted. So taking a look at some of the reactions to Mr. Jazzy Q's tweet, one user wrote, Yo, don't flatter yourself, Terry always stays there by the DJ booth. She always reacts like that to every DJ, nothing new, and there's a mirror there. You ain't all that, chill. Mm, right off the gate coming hard at Mr. Jazzy Q. Another user wrote, I'm disappointed. Jer, I never thought you are like that. I don't know if you are aware of the message you sending to your fans out there. Be humble, dear. The housemates are on lockdown. Obviously, they get excited for all the DJs and ignoring them, not cool. Now, like I said a little bit earlier, apparently it's one of the rules from the Big Brother house that the DJs are not to interact with the Big Brother housemates. But moving right along, another user wrote, delete this rubbish, you won't even satisfy Terry when, um, out of curiosity, now this is very, very curious, how do you know that he won't satisfy uh, Terry, have you, I know, never mind, moving right along. Another user wrote, didn't know you and I don't like you already. And some people are busy hyping nonsense. You're nothing without people just know that bruh. They made you who you are. There is a Zulu saying that says, Roughly translated, do not shit on the hand that uh, feeds you. Hope you get that. Yegela Ugus Pagamisa, roughly translated, stop hyping yourself up. Now, on a side note, I will say this. I did enjoy Mr. Jazzy Q's set on the Big Brother Mzansi house during that particular Saturday party. I mean, do get in the comment section down below and let me know if you did watch and what did you think of his set. And while we are actually talking about Mr. Jazzy Q, he actually, it seems like he saw all of the backlash and he has replied to it somewhat. He wrote, nowhere in my tweet did I mention Terry lost me a some belief. Now, apart from that, he also wrote the following So sad how everyone always thinks the worst of me. So, I mean, yeah, do get in the comment section down below. Do you guys think that his initial tweet was directed to Uteri and the housemates at the Big Brother house talking about ignore them until Banye? Our next topic, Lady Do exposes her manager. So Lady Do seems to be breathing fire after finding out that her manager has been betraying her. Now she took to her social media platforms to put him on blast. Now she revealed that her manager has been telling people that she is not available for bookings. So Lady Do posted the following on social media. My manager is telling people I'm unavailable for bookings. He says he doesn't work on weekends and doesn't pay me on time. Mind you, I don't work for him. He gets paid off my bookings he started taking cash from promoters i'm in hell guys i've been crying every day in jay now one user replied and wrote have you ever talked to him about it to which lady do replied yes he's too arrogant i don't have the energy anymore yeah, it's funny how people actually change because a few months ago, Lady Do actually penned a heartwarming message on her social media appreciating her manager for helping her with her music career. So last year on the 30th of September, Lady Do posted a picture, I'm assuming that's the manager and captioned it. If it wasn't for this guy, I'm telling you, I would have left music completely. Thank you to my manager for helping me out so much. One of the sweetest human beings ever, easy to work with and will go to help 
smile and back for you appreciation post now i don't know if this is that same manager that she's complaining about i mean a lot of things can happen since uh september to now it's like how many months i'm not even gonna do the maths right now but she could have changed managers but let's just assume that it's still the same guy funny how people change over time yeah but moving right along you know a few days ago lady do also took to instagram again to set the record straight she wanted to make it clear that she has never been with anyone for their money the musician said that she had worked hard for everything that she has so lady do posted the following picture and captioned it i've worked days and night trying to build myself i have never been helped financially i don't have industry connections i have genuinely built a career for myself that is run by the people you guys have made me who i am today it's sad that at times we have to smile but we are actually broken beings we have to give hugs to people when we actually need them ourselves i'd like to thank you guys personally for being my strength i'd like to tell you how important you are to me it is because of you that i could still continue and not give up on myself I was not aware of what was happening. I actually thought I was losing my fire when someone just decided to have a say in my life. To all the promoters that just woke up and decided to direct message me, thank you. I am not one to fight, Nje. I've tried my level best to keep it in and not say anything, but I thought, nah, people go through so much in this industry. These new age Amapiano kids need a person that will actually be transparent so they see the industry isn't as easy as it looks. I have a catalog that has so many hits i've missed out on serious opportunities but that's okay i don't ever cry for things that i can't control i'd like to ask you to directly send requests to the number on my bio or the email on my wall i'm sorry i didn't drop my ep i was going through a lot i'm sorry i haven't been myself but after today we move differently some praying emojis don't forget to pray every day women need protection from people that actually take advantage of the fact that they are men one thing I will say about Lady Do is that she does seem very transparent, especially on social media. She does let everything out on that social media page. But yeah, I mean, do get in the comment section down below and let me know what did you guys think about Lady Do exposing her manager. And just like that, we have reached the end of the news. Now, if you did enjoy the video, please do me a huge favor. Share it with your family, your friends, and your enemies. Confuse the hell out of everybody. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Ray Live if you haven't. And and binge watch my previous videos.